In this video, we will expand on using the bulk host cloning wizard. First, I am going to choose a host whose settings I would like to clone to additional hosts. In this example, I will use our Linux test host. Next, I'm going to verify that the settings on this host are what I would like them to be, including the parent, template, and host group relationships, as well as check, retry, and notification intervals. You will also want to make sure that your time periods are set correctly and any other mandatory settings. Once you have checked over your hosts, click configure from the main menu bar, then run the monitoring wizard. From here, select the bulk host cloning and import wizard. Then, from the drop-down, select the host you would like to clone first. Now, select the services under the host that you would like to clone to the new host. There can be anywhere from none to all of the services selected. Now, in the text field below, enter the addresses, names, and descriptions of the hosts that you would like to clone these settings to. In this example, I already have three in the list. Just keep in mind that the fields are comma-separated. Once everything looks good, click Next, then either click Next to the few remaining portions of the wizard, or click Finish to skip to the end. On the last step, Nagios XI will apply configuration, writing these changes to the database. Once the apply configuration has finished and comes back clean, you can view your new hosts by clicking Home and then Host Details. Here, we can see Linux 100, 101, and 102 have now been added, and two are pending check results. The first one has failed due to an invalid IP or being unable to reach its address. Now, we can go back and verify that the hosts have taken the clone settings properly and everything looks good.